Well, I would just reiterate some of the messaging the CDC's put out, which I think is very, very accurate and appropriate, and that's the risk to the general person in the United States is very, very low. Um, you know, if you, uh, all the cases right now, the area uh, really that's had active transmission and sustained transmission is in China. Um, and so outside of China, the percentage of cases is far less than 1% overall. So there's no evidence whatsoever of any sustained transmission of this novel coronavirus in, in the United States. Uh, active screening and monitoring has gone into place now for folks that are returning uh, from uh, China moving forward. In particular, the biggest concern is the area of uh, in and around Wuhan City or Hubei province, um, but a very, very small uh, likelihood of there being uh, issues in the United States. So really no concerns right now. It's one of those things that we need to be aware of, and I would certainly recommend everybody to stay on top of and understand from reputable sources, um, but we certainly don't need to be uh, overly concerned and worried right now. I will say this, so um, I think it's important perspective to understand, uh, you know, we look at and we see the videos uh, and the, the um, photos coming from China uh, and, you know, uh, cities have shut down, uh, businesses are closed, um, but the actual uh, percentage of cases is very low. The, the average traveler who would be coming back without any known contacts, without any known uh, exposure to health care while they're there, et cetera. Um, the risk of that is even lower. I mean, you're talking about, you know, probably less than a thousandth of a percent risk uh, of being exposed to somebody with that here uh, in the United States. So, so um, I think it's important perspective to understand that. And, and remember, we see things and images on, and we hear uh, reports and, and read stories, but um, the overall risk there is, um, for folks coming back here, is very low.